In tonight's Health Watch, the CDC is warning that flu and COVID combined with holiday gatherings could lead to a spike in illnesses this winter. As CBS's Lilia Luciano reports, a new variant of coronavirus called JN1 may be more contagious, but less severe. COVID-19 cases are rising as a record number of people are traveling this holiday season. Typically, I will wear a mask. I didn't expect this many people right here, but I did bring one to wear on the plane. A new fast-spreading COVID variant named JN1 now makes up 44% of all cases nationwide, more than doubling its share from the week before. The World Health Organization has called this new JN1 variant a variant of interest. What does that mean? JN1, which we're now seeing, is one that clearly is spreading very quickly around the world. And there's evidence that it is actually causing an increased number of illnesses, and particularly even in some who have already had COVID before or may have been vaccinated before. This comes as 23 states are reporting high levels of respiratory illnesses, including COVID-19 and the flu. The CDC sent an urgent alert this month about low vaccination rates. Less than 20% of adults have received the new COVID-19 vaccine and less than 10% of children. Our concern is, is that while the overall number of serious illnesses per number of people infected will be lower than we saw previous in the pandemic, if we're seeing widespread transmission, we're going to see deaths go up. We're going to see the number of hospitalized patients going up. And so that to us is, is really a, a critical challenge uh, in the days ahead. A World Health Organization report issued last week said that even though JN1 is better at evading our immune systems, the latest vaccine is still likely to be effective. The pandemic was so traumatic for people that they just wanted to be over and done with. They want to put it in the back window and never think about it again. But COVID is going to be with us for the foreseeable future. That does not mean it has to dominate or rule our lives if we take sensible precautions. So far, the data shows symptoms for this variant appear to be similar to previous waves, and experts tell us the best precautions are to get vaccinated for respiratory illnesses, to test before large family gatherings, and if you are sick, to stay home. Major. Lilia Luciano, thank you.